Hi everybody, it's me, Bonkai922. Oh my god, this episode of JoJo. Part 4, Diamond is Unbreakable. Um, okay, so this was episode 8, part 4, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Diamond is Unbreakable. Uh, <clears throat> this is theme, we, we got our first, aside from... The minor characters, like the first, like female, um, well, at least in this in this part, we got our first female stand user, um, Yo Kunko. I I forgot her name. Um, okay, this girl basically has the hots for Koichi. Now, first of all, first of all, first of all, if Koichi just would, would, if he accepted her feelings, I think this would have gotten a, a little less easier, but he doesn't, and he's wishy-washy, and she, <laughs> this girl's psycho, like, I'm not going to say she would put Yuko, you know, a run for her money, maybe. Maybe. Um, <clears throat> let me just, um, because I, I, I know, I completely forgot her name. Um, just looking up her name, because, um, you know. Um, but this was just, this was insane. That This character just went... <laughs> She went, she went completely psycho. Oh my god. It was just insane. Um let's see if we can find characters. Um, yeah, Yukako Yamagishi. Um that's her name. So basically we also find out some interesting things in the beginning of this episode. Um, so the title of the actual episode is Yukaku Yamagishi is in Love, Part 1. Now, we find some interesting things about Surface, the stand user. He tells them that, you know, the connection with, with, the, with you know, <coughs> fate between stand users that they, they attract to each other. And so on and so forth. Now, the red red chili pepper, red hot chili pepper. He hasn't he didn't kill the surface stand user. He basically let him go. Now, this episode is really not about that. This is about this girl who confesses her love to Koichi, and <sighs> this girl like. Goes from normal to psycho like that. And it's kind of funny. This episode, jo Josuke and what's his face try to help Koichi. And it completely and utterly backfires on them. On him. <laughs> her purability, it wasn't stated in this episode, but her ability has to do with hair. And. It's like, she, and, and it's, it's, it's not what you think, because, like, it's really insane. Like, she puts her hair in um, this girl's hair, her scalp, and, like, supposedly her hair goes on fire. Because her hair, Yukaku's hair, was in the fire when they were trying to burn trash and everything. <laughs> that, that threw me off. But it's like, it's her ability is... Even though it's her hair, it if it gets in you, your scalp, that's it. She controls your body and everything. Um, so, um, so yeah, that that's pretty much what transpired in this episode, and it. <laughs> Takes a prisoner 
because of what they they were whispering about. And then she found out that he's not good at that he failed his English test. Then then the, the, that whole scene, I was like, the first thing that came to my mind, Lizard. That's the first thing that came to my mind when she captured him and brought her to that house. I thought of misery. I mean, it wasn't like the same kind of feeling with misery, but I mean, come on. She's holding him against his will. And <laughs> it was so wrong. Like, answer these questions, and if he gets them wrong, he eats weird things like the dictionary, English dictionary wrapped in around asparagus. Oh, God, it was so ridiculous. This this episode was so far over the edge. I was dying. I was completely dying. But yeah. Uh episode one was <laughs> crazy. Four and a half out of five. If anything, this episode well, it just shows you a lesson. Like don't don't be wishy-washy with girls ask you out, because they might be psycho. <laughs> um, but it was good. I was just, I was just dying. But this girl just came out of nowhere. At first, I thought this girl, I thought she was going to confess. Remember, remember, I don't know. I don't know what happens. I do not know what happens. From this part on, I do not know what occurs, what happens in part four. So I am completely looking into this anime right now, blind. So whatever happens, I'm going to be surprised. But this was just insanity. Now, obviously, next week we'll find out how this concludes. This was episode, I believe, eight. Yeah, this was episode 8, so we're getting close to the end. They're probably going to end it. I think for JoJo, they're going to do the usual thing. They'll end, they'll stop it here, like in episode 12 or 13, and then they'll continue with another season. Because this is this is least slated for, I think, like 30 episodes. So, we'll see. But that was just balls to the walls craziness. Oh, man. I feel so bad for Koichi. Dude, man. Should have just said you loved her. Then maybe she would have gone psycho on you. Oh, that was insanity. Four and a half out of five for this one. I'm Baka Night 22. Next. You know what's funny? This is actually pretty funny. We've had two different arcs in part four strictly on Koichi. Think about that. No, think about that. How many arcs has there been on, on Strictly on Josuke? Two? Three? I mean, there was the Angelo thing, and then there was the bro the new Nishimura brothers. But Koichi's got two things, two arcs for him. It was the douche, the guy who... Well, actually, no, three for Josuke. But Koichi's, like, important. <laughs> <laughs> you got another one for him. So yeah, this 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 one though is, is ridiculous. Like uh, this girl, uh, this girl is crazy for him and trying to, to make him into a right man. Oh damn, Koichi! Run, man, run, run! I'll see you guys later. Peace.